Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Chelsea Strube. We begin tonight with the death of former Bishop James Timlin of Scranton. According to the diocese, he passed away early this morning at Marywood Heights in Scranton. Bishop Timlin was 95 years old. Newswatch 16's Andy Palumbo takes a look back at the life of the eighth bishop of Scranton. This was the day James Clifford Timlin became leader of thousands of Roman Catholics here in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. The Diocese of Scranton's former bishop, John O'Connor, was named to head the New York Archdiocese, and Pope John Paul II named Timlin to replace him. The installation was held on a summer's day back in June of 1984. St. Peter's Cathedral was filled with people as Bishop Timlin entered a new phase of his long career. James Clifford Timlin was the first native son to hold the position of Bishop of the Scranton Diocese. Timlin was born in Scranton August 5, 1927. He was ordained in 1951 and served in Rome before coming home. Timlin was appointed auxiliary bishop by Pope Paul VI. In May of 2011, Timlin recalled meeting John Paul II in 1979 in Philadelphia. Of course, I was a young bishop at the time, and when I came up to him, of course, he put his hand up high like that, like to say, you're so tall. <laughs> Bishop Timlin did stir up controversy once in a while. Let's go back to September of 1984. Democratic vice presidential candidate Geraldine Ferraro was in Scranton. Personally, Ferraro, a Catholic, said she is pro-life. Politically, she is pro-choice, and that angered the bishop. And in March of 2000, Elton John was playing at the arena in Wilkes-Barre Township. The scranton Wilkesbury Red Barons had a home game in music on the same night. It was Good Friday. Timlin asked the faithful to stay home. We'd like to keep that day holy, a day of prayer, a day of meditation. Think about what happened and let those feelings uh, evolve of, of gratitude and sorrow for our sins and turning back to God. And there was another controversy involving the bishop. He spoke out when one of the biggest cable companies at the time, Adelphia, decided to add the Playboy Channel in 2003. I'm disappointed and I'm saddened because what we try to do is build women up and try to earn respect for them, as we should, and uh, pornography and uh, this kind of thing just destroys all that, so we're against that. When stories about priests sexually abusing children rocketed into the headlines, Bishop Timlin ordered a seminar in Laughlin to tackle the problem. So I want them to uh, buy into the program, as you say. I want them to realize the importance of it, and I want them to embrace it wholeheartedly. Bishop Timlin made headlines again in May of 2003 because of what he didn't do. Timlin boycotted the University of Scranton commencement because the guest speaker, Chris Matthews of MSNBC, is pro-choice. Matthews understood. Timlin reached the retirement age for bishops in 2003 and submitted his resignation to the Vatican. One of Timlin's final duties while in charge of the diocese, the dedication of this prayer garden. It's adjacent to the mother church of the diocese, St. Peter's Cathedral, along Wyoming Avenue in downtown Scranton. Bishop Joseph Martino replaced Timlin in October of 2003, a two-hour-long installation service held at St. Peter's in Scranton. Martino resigned in August of 2009. He upset many by closing churches and schools. Timlin told Newswatch 16 Martino simply came in and did his best. I'm sure he would say that he was not here to do the dirty work at all. Uh, he said that himself when he came here. He was not sent in here to do anything at all. Nobody ever told him uh, what to do if, uh, here when he came. He knew nothing about the diocese of the Scranton. Timlin was named Bishop Emeritus. He continued to serve in a variety of roles, including administrator of St. Joseph's Church in Wilkesbury and rector of Villa St. Joseph in Dunmore. Newswatch 16 was there on Mother's Day of 2012 when Timlin celebrated a special mass for moms at St. Peter's in Scranton. Every mother does a lot for her children, but these mothers do more and go over and beyond, over and beyond what everybody else is expected to do. And they do such a great job. So this is a way of thanking them and a way of um, getting the word out that this is something important to do so that others will be willing to do the same thing. 
Bishop James Timlin, from parish priest to spiritual leader for hundreds of thousands. But a major black mark on Timlin's record appeared during the summer of 2018. The bishop was in his 90s when the state attorney general quoted a grand jury report blaming Timlin for helping cover up the sexual abuse of children by priests. The attorney general blasted Timlin for writing a sympathetic letter to a priest who raped a teenager. That same priest helped the teen get an abortion, and the diocese paid her family $75,000. Just before Labor Day 2018, Bishop Joseph Bambera stripped Timlin of the privilege of representing the Diocese of Scranton at any event. Andy Palumbo, Newswatch 16. The Most Reverend Joseph Bambera, the Bishop of Scranton, sent out a statement regarding Timlin's death, saying, quote, Bishop Timlin was a prayerful man devoted to serving the faithful of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania as a priest and bishop for more than 70 years. May God grant Bishop Timlin the gift of eternal life and give consolation to all those who loved and respected him. As of right now, information regarding the former bishop's funeral arrangements are pending and the Diocese of Scranton says they will be announced when they are complete.